And in these final days before school starts, uh, you may be looking for a way to let the kids get out and get some of that excess energy out of their bodies. <laughs> and what better way than a playground? Of course, our sponsor, the Huron Clint Metro Parks, have multiple playgrounds at their various parks, including some new ones with play structures accessible to all. Michelle Oliver takes us on a tour. Slides. <laughs> Swings. Watch me, I'm not holding on. Fun things to climb on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. These are all classic elements of a childhood favorite. Playgrounds. So we are currently at the Maple Beach Playground here at Kensington Metro Park. <laughs> Playgrounds are that quintessential activity that a lot of people think of when they start thinking about parks. And here at the Metro Parks, uh, we love our playgrounds. But this playground looks a bit different than the ones I grew up with. The Metro Parks are really focused on accessibility, so every time we design a new project, including a new playground, uh, we're looking for ways to remove barriers and make it more accessible to all. They are designing these playgrounds so that everyone, no matter their ability, can have a fun time. The elements that are usually most popular with our visitors are this port in place rubber safety surfacing that allows wheelchairs to roll over it easier, but also people that just might have mobility difficulties are accessible swings that allows a user to interact with that swing in whatever orientation or position is most comfortable to them. Uh, this playground also considered users that might have sensory issues, so there are elements here where shade was considered, where color was considered, tactile elements and roller slides were considered, as well as the wheelchair accessible components like transfer stations and platforms. So a Wii Go Round is very similar to a Merry Go Round. It does spin and it allows kids or adults that are inside it to turn a turntable on the inside and spin themselves. The unique element about the Wii Go Round is you'll notice it's flush with the ground, which allows wheelchair users to also roll into it. And adults are welcome to join in on the fun too. Do you think this counts as my workout for today? Visitors will notice on many of our playgrounds that uh, when you're exploring the play structure itself, you might encounter some of those educational panels. It could be an interactive tic-tac-toe type game where kids can flip panels around and play with each other. Or it may even include pictures of animals and plants and things that have a little bit of an education tie-in. And this isn't the only playground designed in this way. So at Lower Huron Metro Park, we opened a brand new space-themed playground at the end of 2021. It has a really tall tower that, that kids can climb up in a metal slide that swirls down to the bottom, rocket ship elements, as well as one out at Lake St. Clair Metro Park that was opened just a few years ago. Most of the Metro Parks have playgrounds, all with different fun elements and the playscapes have the same hours as the parks they are in. For kids, it's great for their development, their imagination, and their physical activity, and it encourages parents to get out there and play alongside them as well. You did so well! Yeah. Great stuff, Michelle. Now, to explore the different types of playgrounds at the Metro Parks and to find the park nearest you, go to metroparks.com. That's metroparks.com.